Well, there he is. Looks like we have a train to catch. I may have to get a horse on the way. Man, that's... Oh, they're... Oh, they're Bacoblins. Well, that's not good. Come on. Come on, I need you. Yes, 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 go. Go, horse. Woohoo! We're going. Need to catch up to that dragon. Where'd he go? Where'd the dragon go? Oh, I might have to trigger a story cutscene here. Where'd he go? Where'd the dragon go? What is that? Is that a tree? Is that a giant cherry tree? That's odd. Also, that's fog. I don't want to mess with that. I'm so far out that I really don't want to mess with anything that could remotely look like it's story story stuff. Come on, horse. Yep, you did you did as good as I want you to. On a very steep slope right now. Okay. Need to get to the summit here. Is this where you guys mentioned? You guys did give me an indication on a map? Oh man, that's special. You guys gave me an indication on a map where it would be. And is this it? Okay, I think this is it. So. Place. So that's my travel gate. So now, let's head to the, uh, just to any stable. Ah, uh, let's head to the stable. I, I like this one more. This one over here. And now that it's morning, the dragon should... What on earth? Why does that happen? I'll deal with that in a moment. Now that it's morning... What is the dragon's chest? Stop it, chest. Gonna get killed by the chest. There's the dragon. Ch chest! Stop doing that. Okay, dragon. Hopefully I don't kill by the stupid chests. Why is it raining chests? Honestly, it's, it's more amusing to me to not have to... Uh, I should probably wait. To not deal with the chest, because the idea of it perpetually raining chests for... The rest of existence is exciting me. Okay, let's check our thing. Also, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we cleared out the Akala region, with the only exception to that statement being Dinral. We need to get a scale from Dinral, and I presume by shooting it. Although, it's unfortunate I don't actually have normal arrows. So, I have placed my... Homemade beacon, which I got last episode, here, so that as Dinral goes by, I'll be able to fly over to him. Why are you pulling up? Dinral, don't pull up, buddy. I mean, this isn't a bad thing. I can always just make it morning time and, uh, and do it again. Okay, Dinral does not seem to be possessed by anything. Can I shoot Dinral? I need to get a little bit closer. I'll catch up with his tail the very best. And get closer to him, come on. Okay, pull out my bow. Uh, let's use exploding arrows. Did I miss him? I missed him on both accounts. Okay, well, that's my attempt. Here, let's, let's try one more time. Man, he's much further away than I gave him credit for. Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? Ow! Stupid chest. Okay. Take two. Let's fly over to Dinral. Hopefully catch him before he arrives. There he is. He should fly right by the spire. Where I can hopefully shoot his scale. It's nice that this dragon isn't possessed, at least for his own sake. Okay, come on, Dinral. I just need to borrow a scale. I mean, you can actually have it back when I'm done with it if you want. If you can put those back. 
probably can't because it's like, you know, me borrowing a fingernail clipping for you, from you, but I'll gladly borrow it. Hopefully he won't be too angry that I'm trying to shoot him. Hey, Dinral. Man, you're beautiful, aren't you? Man, you know you're beautiful. Oh, and we have an aura. Hey, buddy. Look at this guy. <sighs> He's just gorgeous. Oh, I caught on fire. Probably don't need to catch on fire. Uh, let's equip... Gear, gear, gear. This, because it looks like it might heat up around here. And let's go ahead and eat something as well. Something that I, I cooked with full recovery. Yeah. Full recovery plus eight. Full recovery plus six. Or I could just eat this. Yeah, let's just eat this. Can I just shoot you? Oh, oh, oh. There it is. There it is. A scale. Thanks, Dinral. You were great. Man, I, I could... Could have touched him there. Thanks, man. He was really nice about it. Dinral's scale. This precious scale fell from a from the red spirit Dinral. It emanates a great heat. You can use it in cooking, but just eating it seems like a waste. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. Let's let's get a look at this dragon as he goes by, because that's he's beautiful. Huh. Well, before I I move on with my life, let's go back to the travel medallion. Here, let's see if I can chase this chest down. Why is this chest... Oh, man, that thing's gone. That thing's gone. Why is there just a chest spawning in nowhere? It feels intended, but it's one of those weird intended things that feels like a glitch as well. Like, look at that. Here, okay, I have Magnesis ready. Wait, did it fall this time? I don't think it fell this time. No, it definitely fell. Ah, I need to be really qu fast on my reflexes. Okay, it's gonna fall towards me. Ah, missed. Okay, where's this thing gonna end up? Come on, I'm ready. Ah, missed it. Can I open it as it goes by? That's also pop. Wait, 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 no, stasis. That's instant. Got it. Here, let's hit it this way. And then... Caught it. Look at that. Look how smooth that was. And we got it. A knight's halberd. Why is there just a knight's halberd on top of this here? Let's set this chest free. Here we are, Spring of Power. Now... I'm guessing, since I haven't been able to look at the comments yet, starting on episode, Future Pal answer that question. You're probably wondering why I've been holding on to so many spirit orbs since I have almost three level ups. And this is why. I have 11 spirit orbs, so I have three level ups, essentially. After this, I will have three. And I got eight. I was going to spend them both, and then I realized that we were so close to getting one more that I was just going to wait. And so today we're going to be getting three level ups for the price of th th three. Hey, I have I've completed your your trial. Offered Dinral's scale received from the Red Spirit to the Spring of Power. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. Well, you heard the woman. You heard Zelda. Hold Dinral's scale. Place it in the water. It's kind of sad that we are coming so far. I mean, if you look at if you look at all those flashbacks that we've had thus far, Link for the most part has had it together the entire time. I mean, he may not well, actually he probably is or was as powerful as we are now. And yet Zelda, she's had to work for it. And as hard as she's worked, something at the top of that tree. As hard as she has worked, she hasn't been able, or she, as far as we've seen in the cutscenes, she hasn't been able to obtain any power. Although, it looks like she has when it counted, because she's currently in, in Hyrule Castle holding him back, so... I guess she got what she wanted, but at a terrible price.
A major test of strength. Oh, boy. I was expecting... Not this. Oh, I don't have Daruk's protection. Okay. Okay, let's equip the blade saw. I do have a shield, and I'd rather break the shield. No pillars. Are we just going to get a straight-up guardian? What is that over there? Just something on the wall, or is there some place I can go? Something on the wall. Okay. No pillars. Nowhere to hide. Water everywhere. And a regular enemy. With three weapons. That's not bad. I've dealt with worse. Three weapons. Oh, wait. No, it's three weapons and a, a giant shield. Never mind. Ah. One hit. He breaks my shield. Shows how close it was to dying. Yeah. Shield bash. I don't think this actually does extra damage. So, I'm going to switch to this. Well, at least this is fairly easy to shield bash. And because I said that, I'm going to fail. No, I'm not going to fail. Come on. Ah, I meant to jump to the side. Come on, do it again. Do it again. I'll get a couple hits. Royal Broadsword is done. Time to bring in... Uh, let's just bring in the Guardian Sword Plus. Oh, I can't hit him in the back. Well, that's expected. It's kind of cool how he cycles through all those weapons. Very well designed, Nintendo. Ah, oh, I missed. Do I have a fairy? No. Okay, so it's time to actually heal up. Full recovery plus six, or one of the attack buffs that I've gotten. Low level defense boost. High level defense boost for four minutes. This will fully heal me. This will also. This won't fully heal, heal me, but it'll give me a, an attack power boost. Yeah. Let's eat the rice balls. Hello. Got a flurry rush. It's really easy to get flurry rush with dodging, but it's much more difficult to get it with shield bashes, including then when I, I completely shield bash that with the right timing. But unfortunately, the uh, hitbox of that is fairly small. Okay, I'm kind of worried about my my weapons at the moment. Ugh, gross. Let's just eat this. Just based on how much power this guy has. At least we can keep getting flurry rushes, and he's at three quarters HP. That was kind of a terrible dodge. Come on, hit me. Whoa. Oh! That's weird. You see that? I canceled the, uh, the flurry rush proc with... Ah, man, I can't get the timing of that. I canceled the flurry rush cutscene, or if you will, with a a crouch. Huh. Yeah, I, oh, I can't believe I got that. He's almost half HP. My spear's probably going to break on this attack, or not. This thing's actually pretty good. Come on. Wait, what do you? What have you got? Oh, you got that? Come at me. Wait. Oh. Oh. I canceled it. I goaded him into attacking. At least I can kind of kite him out of his range. He cannot hit me. Look at how long range that is. That's amazing. Let's... Oh, wait, wait. What is this? Oh, it's just the normal attack? Well, normal attack meets a normal counter attack. Get some good attacks in here. He's down to half HP. He's already switching phases. Ah. Come on. Attack me again. I dare ya. I'll get a little attack in there. Uh, switching over to... I already have a Frostblade, so I'll switch to this Frostblade. And I can get in some good attacks because... Uh, I could kill... I, it's good to know, but I can kill this guy with a, an Ancient Arrow if need be. Oh, hello. I canceled his attack. This is definitely the easiest phase. It's the easiest to counter, and if you're not good at countering it for whatever reason, it's so easy just to get in free attacks with the bow. That's just... Oh, that's slow. What are you going to do? You're going to do that? Okay. In my opinion, this should be the first attack that it has. Let's fly over, and... 
freeze him. He's almost dead. I was worried about my... Oh, boy. I was worried about my durability of my weapons for no reason. What are you going to do? Yeah, nothing. That's what I thought. What are you going to do? You're going to... Oh, you're going to do this attack again? Oh, that's cute. Oh, wait. No, this is a different attack. This is the laser. Well, that means I need to switch over to stasis. Stasis him. And get behind him. Time to run. Time to run. Oh. Oh, I forgot he does three. Oh. He does four. Okay, that's good to know. Well. Doesn't matter. Because he's dead. I really feel like the first attack that he does is the harder to counter of the three. I'm not sure if that's an oversight. Ooh, Guardian Shield plus plus. I'm not sure if that's an oversight or just my personal fighting style. But I got some good shield bashes in there. That's that's something to be proud of. I'm getting better. How do you get better? By practicing. Okay, what are we going to get besides the obvious great things that we got from defeating him? A flame spear. That's new. And also, our 12th, which means we have three level ups waiting for us outside, our 12th spirit orb. So the next thing that we're going to be doing with this episode is heading over north of the castle because I'm, I'm fairly certain I know what's there. I think it's a Korok forest or the Korok forest. And if you'll notice my inventory, get up there, Link. If you'll notice my inventory, I have 31 Korok seeds and I am in desperate need of inventory expansion. So we're going to be doing that with the remainder of this episode, at least setting up for it. But not after, or not before, we get two heart containers. I've, I've made up my mind on this. I have been told that I need 13 heart containers for something. They have told me what that something is, but for the sake of viewers watching at home, if you have not played the game, I won't spoil it. Just know that I need, apparently, 13 heart containers, which I'm currently at 5... 11? I think I'm at 11. So I'm going to be getting two heart containers. Now I can always exchange this if need be. If I encounter the thing where I need 13 heart containers, I can just exchange them at Hateno Village. But for the most part, I'm going to be getting two heart containers here and one stamina vessel. My stamina has been pretty great, honestly. I upgraded it early and that's, I think, the way to go. But I could do with another upgrade. At least for climbing's sake. Cool. And also for catching a horse, which I eventually need to do. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. That I will. Okay, with the remaining time we have this episode, I would like to travel to... There's a road... You know what? You know what? There is something I would like to do. How far are we in the episode? Because there's a road that leads up there, I wasn't going to do this. I have not started my timer. Well, good. There's something I would like to do, uh, because there's a road leading up there, I can do it and use it. I would like to travel to Hyrule Field, and I would like to capture our horse. Our actual horse. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm a gun go do that right now. Close to the edge of the map here. It's time to go north. Oh, there, of course, there's a, a guardian. So, this is my new horse. My horse, also extinctively new. Oh, go, go, go. This is Sif. After, oh, there's a Stalnox. Well, we'll mark this on our map, at the very least. Uh, there's a boss here. Woo! After reading the Inheritance Cycle, and after watching some Dark Souls played, uh, the name Sith has been kicking around in my head for years now. Are you done? Please stop. Oh, there's another one. Of course there is. 
the name Sif has been kicking around in my head for years now. I, I really like it. It's it's a cool name. Oh boy. And I thought that it would be a good name to name a horse. So we have Sif now. No, 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 horse. Horse, do not die. Flying down here. And you know what? I'm gonna have to I'm going to have to kill this guy. Do I have Druk's protection up? Stop it. No, I don't. Okay, so I don't know why I flailed around the menus there. So I don't lose Sif on the first try. Let's get out a shock arrow. You! Get shocked. Okay, we'll kill this in the name of self-defense. Come on, take out this arm. There. Take out this one. Really easy way to deal a lot of damage to these guys. He's actually... A oh, no, I guess he's not about to fall down. And take out this arm. And then... Oh, he's really sad right now. Okay. Can I break through this? I'm, I guess I am hurting him. So let's just deal this all in one go. He really doesn't want to attack me. He is blocking it with the magical barrier, but I'm dealing a lot of damage through it, so... I don't even think he wants to attack me anymore. Oh, no, I guess he does. I guess he does. I don't want to say poor guy because of how much pain they've caused me, but you kind of feel bad for a guy after you cut off all of his legs. At least the payoff is great. So I was going to say before Sif got unceremoniously shot with a laser is he has four speed, as you'll notice. But the downside of, of this is... No, S Sif, what are you doing? Eat it. Sif. There you go. Come here. Eat these. Eat these. Sit. Sif. Seriously, buddy. So as I was saying, the downside of his speed comes a, a severe lack of HP. His strength is abysmal. And so his HP is really bad. Which, honestly, when he was hit by that laser, I was fully expecting him to die right there. That, that is extremely shocking that he managed to survive through that. So I need to be careful with him, but he should be a good horse. He is not the horse which I want to keep. Can you go through this? No, you can't, but you can do some sick moves going up. He is not the horse that I would like to keep for the ad entire adventure. In fact, I'm kind of running him into the ground now. The horse I would like to keep would have nearly maxed out stats or the best possible stats you can get from a captured horse that isn't a certain hard to obtain horse. So that's my goal. But unfortunately, looking online, I simply cannot obtain a horse that good right now. I really can't. And so I'm I'm settling for the next best thing, which is Sif. So yeah, right now we're riding towards this tower, which almost looks like it has something clinging onto it, doesn't it? Look at that. That's almost looks like he has a, a Hinox or something, just grabbing onto it and giving it a bear hug. Let's see, can I... Military training camp. Here, let's try to make sure that my horse is not brutally slaughtered. You! You, sir. I do not want to hit you with a shock arrow, but I will do the next best thing. Ow. Oh, I'm taking damage. I fell down a cliff. You, sir, can kindly die. Come on. Get out of my face. There. That insta-popped him. Goodness. Okay, so, trying to get to the top of this. Sif, are you alright? Yeah, you're fine. You're a good horse, you. I mean, I won't tell you that you're a replacement, and I won't tell you how your replacement died, or your, your predecessor died, but... Just know that you're a good horse. You're actually- he's actually the best horse I've ever had. Objectively. Because he has four... Four stats, and no horse I've gotten thus far has had that. Oh, it's a rock! So it's not a boss, but it's- it is a giant rock. So let's see, if we can get onto... Him, it looks like there's a Poe over there. Or a Wizrobe, or whatever they're called. Then, 
I should be able to shoot that rock. I need to get top to the top of that basin. And then I think there we can end the episode. Oh boy! Link! Okay. <laughs> I did not expect that. I did not expect that at all. So I can get up to the top fairly easily, but what I need to do is jump backwards, and I'll probably end the episode after we do this. So that guy's gonna try to get to me, but I don't really care about him. I can just climb. And he should be fairly chill. But I actually spent it the better part of an hour. Need to be careful. Need to be very careful that I don't blow us both up here. There. I spent the better part of an hour trying to find horses, and not only did I discover that, I, at least with the horses that I can find right now, we cannot possibly get any five-star horses. I'm not even sure if there are five-star horses in the game. But, let's shoot that. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we need it? Really? Are you up here? Are you really trying my patience in this way? Go away. Get down. I think there might be a cannon we need to fire off here. Almost to the top. I couldn't find a cannon, so I decided to just try and wing it and see if there's maybe a way to get past that rock or around it up here. I'm not sure what, what else I would do. Unless there's a story thing that would possibly get that going. Also, in case you're wondering why it's raining lava, uh, there is a there is a wizard rope that's being very annoying. In fact, the temperature is rising, so I'm just taking a d damage for existing. Actually, it does look like I can just get to the top of this. Odd that they would throw that stone there. Weird. It's cracked a bit, too. Huh. I guess this must have happened when we activated the first Sheikah stone, or we activated our Sheikah slate, and it caused all of these things to rise out of the ground. This is just one of the consequences of that. Well, let's find out what this area is called so we can end the episode and explore it next time. It also makes me wonder if I can blow this thing up from the inside. This is the... Scanning area. Distilling that rune. Into... The... Regional map extracted. What is this place called? The, there's the forest, which I guess I was right. It, it, I guess it doesn't have a name. Odd. But it has a, there's a forest. I can't actually blow this up. Weird. One of the, it's one of those things that you wonder if there's, oh, there's a, a frog. A hot-footed frog. I wonder if there's something at the top of this. Oh, there is. Ooh, Royal Claymore. That's cool. Just embedded in the skull of this skull. Neat. All right, well, I guess that's going to be it. Also, is that the forest? That's the forest. Ooh, I've been so excited to enter this thing since I saw it last episode. Episode? This episode? I have these things run together. The Great Hyrule Forest is all misty. I guess we're going to be exploring it next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. Uh, Monday and Wednesday. Join me next time when Sif and I. Where is Sif? Where did he go? Sif! Buddy, when Sif and I go to the Great Hyrule Forest, there isn't... It's actually pretty close, so I guess we are just going to go there next time. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're going. 
Neat. Also, I almost jumped in here before get it before remembering that it is a bog that will end my life. So. <laughs> okay, see you guys next time where we will pass through the Minshi Woods or the Minish Woods and enter the Great Hyrule Forest. See you guys then. Oh, hey. Elma Knowles. Not only a good character in Wind Waker, but also Xenoblade X. Okay. See you guys then. You take the other, I'm spraying them both with a bitter spray. Okay. Actually, you're, you're probably in a position for a bitter spray. Yeah. Okay, go. Go. Oh, no, I was gonna bitter spray. There. Okay. And we got this one. Now while we still have sprays, let's take... There it goes. Swoosh! Swoosh!